As California has weathered more than a dozen atmospheric rivers during the past few months, the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services has led a response involving nearly every part of the state government to the widespread storm impact. As the work turns to recovery, thousands of Cal OES and other state agency employees continue to be actively engaged in local communities statewide. Hi, I'm Mike Traum with Cal OES. We're here in Pajaro, where cleanup continues following recent storms and flooding. On March 10th, 2023, a levee breach along the Pajaro River sends a torrent of water and mud into the small Monterey County town of Pajaro. Cal OES, together with state agencies, local authorities, and nonprofit organizations, quickly mobilized to start bringing relief and assistance to area residents. Throughout Pajaro, debris removal teams tackle the rugged task of scraping and scooping the thick mud left behind by floodwaters. Further down the street, specialists from the California Environmental Agency's Department of Toxic Substances sift through homes and debris piles looking to remove potentially hazardous waste. It's cleaned up. Well, we've been mission tasked by the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services to remove the household hazardous waste threats here uh, due to the flooding. The household hazardous waste pose a threat to the human health, the animals, and the property. What are household hazardous waste? The household cleaners uh, like the bleach, ammonia, automotive fluids, oils, antifreeze. Um, you have paints, thinners. Um, you have uh, perhaps pool chemicals. Um, you have electronic waste. We'll take all that, we'll bring it back to our staging um, and, and segregate it, consolidate it. Demo everything above the flood line. In another part of town, members of the nonprofit organization Team Rubicon remove water damaged drywall and other materials from a flooded home. We've been working with uh, uh, different organizations here in the county. Uh, to identify homes in need. Uh, so we're basically doing muck out operations. Uh, we're going in and helping the residents you know, clean out storm debris, uh, cut out sheetrock that's been damaged, flooring. So anytime there's any type of national, uh, natural disaster or humanitarian uh, crisis, uh, we, uh, we're there to help. We got uh, volunteer, other volunteer organizations in the area helping with feeding like you see behind us and we got you know, shower trailers and uh, laundry services and bathrooms for folks. It's an incredible response, you know, not only from the community itself, but other organizations coming in to help. Despite the challenges, residents of this friendly, tight-knit community are appreciative of the assistance so far. It's algo maravilloso, algo muy grande, porque esto es duro para quien le pase. Ahora me pasó a mí. A quien le pase es muy difícil. Se lleva tiempo para recuperarse. Yo estoy agradecido. While cleanup continues, a local assistance center, or LAC, has been established in the area for storm-affected residents. Here, state and local agencies are available to facilitate the recovery process. Visitors can access many services, including replacing lost or destroyed documents, or checking to see if a contractor is licensed with the state. Up to this point, a consistent stream of residents has visited the LAC. So far, within the last three days that we've been open, we've had almost 500 survivors um, coming in. Um, lots of stories, um, you know, just a, a lot of need going on here. They are very appreciative of, of our state agencies here, being here, and the county as well. And with the federal disaster declaration recently approved, even more assistance is on the way for this resilient California community. To learn more, please go to news caloes.ca.gov and follow us on all our social media platforms.